left a little bit. Yeah, right there, right there. That looks really good. Hi, I'm Sebastian Custodio. And I'm Elizabeth Leon, and we're here in County Television Studio. You might be wondering what two youth are doing controlling Channel 20, but we're part of the Summer Youth Jobs Program, learning the ins and outs of television production. As part of our job, we have been making a documentary about what other youth workers have been doing. It's summertime and school's out. Now what to do? This summer there are options. The County Summer Youth Jobs Program. The Summer Youth Job Program is a program that we are sponsoring in partnership with the County of Santa Barbara um, to help uh, uh, young people 14 to 24 years old um, uh, find work during the summer months. A lot of um, law enforcement, uh, chiefs of police, uh, sheriffs are very supportive of summer programs because it helps uh, youth find um, uh, something to do during the, the hot summer months when they're off of school and uh, are looking to uh, earn a little bit of money. In order to implement the program, the county received funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as ARA. And in Santa Barbara County, we received $3.9 million to serve um, unemployed adults uh, recently laid off workers, as well as young people ages 14 to 24. And um, based upon our prior discussions, I'm going to focus on the uh, youth program. Um, so the centerpiece of what we're trying to do with uh, young folks with our, our funding is the rebirth of what's called the Summer Youth Job Program. That allows kids from modest backgrounds to um, actually earn money over the summer, um, uh, improve some uh, work experience skills, learn a little bit about careers, um, develop their good work habits. We're working very closely with our partners here. All the county departments have pitched in and they're supporting and mentoring and working with a number of youth. Throughout the county, over 50 youth have been employed over the summer. As a part of our work experience, we visited many of these interns at their workplace and asked what they've been doing. Mechanic, fix cars. We're gonna do a, a library type of thing, like a catalog, a library catalog for the staff. I work for the public defender's office. So I'm below attorneys and like a secretary to them. I use my office skills and I fax, copy, file folders, um, do stuff with people's cases and things like that. Um, I have to be answering the phones and then the mail, I have to do that and just help everyone around. Office stuff, like I come in here and I file things, I put stamps on envelopes to, for them to be mailed out. I work on the laptop sometimes, I do stuff on Excel and Word, and I take phones, take messages and stuff. County staff worked with these youth to introduce them to a variety of job possibilities. Jonathan's going to be working with every individual mechanic. He's going to have his share with every mechanic that we have here at the garage and he is going to be exposed to everything from vehicles to big heavy trucks to specialized equipment um, as in sweepers, tractors and whatnot just to give him an overview of everything that we go through here in the garage. But the program didn't only benefit the youth, the interns assisted county staff with daily activities as well. We have Cindy and um, she has been very helpful. Um, she does help a lot in the office. <clears throat> Every morning we make sure that she has um, some filing to do. At times we um, send her to the court to take files. When the attorneys call and they need some additional information, then we ask Cindy to take it over. Um, so it is very helpful. I really like the program. Uh, they, they've been doing a great job. Uh, every crew that come out here has uh, worked hard. Uh, they've been out here about four hours each day. Uh, they, they do great work. Uh, they've exceeded our expectations uh, to the point where we're actually uh, uh, having to rethink uh, what kind of work they can do for us. Beyond skills for the workplace, the youth are getting experience they can use throughout their lives. I like to come out of this job with more, to be more familiar with things in law. I've always been into law and I think that this was the perfect experience for me to have. Just a good resume, like a good job experience, you know. That's pretty much. And the money. <laughs> of course the money. I know if I want to build something like, you know, like a little uh, tool shed or something, I know how to do it, you know. And I know how to use a table saw, which I was using 
measure tape, and it comes in handy. In the end, the Summer Youth Jobs Program not only gives the interns hands-on work experience and skills for the future, the program has helped them grow personally as well. She has grown a lot because I think she has had the opportunity to see a bit how the criminal system works and personally that, will, that was surprisingly interesting for her. <laughs> In times like these, programs that encourage growth and future possibilities are more important than ever. Besides the economic downturn that is forcing adults to take away some of the jobs that traditionally would be going to young people, um, if you go to a lot of the fast food places now, there, there's uh, more and more adults working in the fast food places, and those were jobs that traditionally had gone to kids. The other thing that's real important is that generationally, we're, we're coming up on a time warp or whatever where people are going to be retiring within the next 10 to 15 years and so we have to start getting our young people right here in Santa Barbara County who are going to stay in Santa Barbara County prepared to take over some of those jobs. The summer program provides a lot of work, good work habits, it, it gives a career sampling and it helps some people start um, starting to make decisions as to what occupations they'd really like to go in. So this is a very opportune time for a summer program to get back in and, and be reestablished here in Santa Barbara County.